Counting down the top five prospects in the Montreal Canadiens organization. The only caveat, they must be affiliated with the team and they must still be eligible for the Calder Trophy. This is where Lane scored the championship winner from last year. Gets it back, move to the circle, toe drag, shot, score! No surprise here. The top prospect in the organization is most recent fifth overall pick, Ivan Demidov. Now, Demidov, he's likely the greatest prospect the Canadians have had in years. No matter how you try to defend him, he adapts. He spots weaknesses in defensive coverage, deceives, and breaks through. With his piercing attacks, he attracts multiple opponents, creating space for his teammates in highlight real passing plays. His arsenal of stick handling moves just keeps on growing, and his capacity to read, process, and anticipate the play does as well. He's also developing his physical skills and a defensive motor. An unusual 10-2 skater, Demidov may struggle to adapt some of his moving patterns and routes to the NHL. If he becomes just as strong of a forward skater as he is agile on his inside edges, he'll soften that transition to the bigs. In his prime, he has the potential to become the team's top offensive driver and one of the true superstars in the league. At number two, 2023 first rounder David Reinbacher. If you asked a room full of NHL scouts to design the perfect defensive prospect, the final product would look an awful lot like Reinbacher. Toolsy, confident, and engaged, the Austrian defenseman can do just about everything short of quarterbacking a power play. He can pinch on the opposition, catch up with opponents in the neutral zone, and immobilizes them on the walls in the defensive end. And despite a down season with HC Clotten, his puck moving game did improve. Ryan Barker doesn't need to be creative and exciting to be effective, especially considering the offensive talent Montreal has coming in the way at that position. He just needs to be Ryan Barker. As long as he continues to push his strengths, he will lock down a spot in the team's top four. Now it's Saulnier trying to pick it up at center. Ryan Barker back in, makes a great move, and shoots and scores! Number three, ultra shifty defenseman Lane Hudson. Hudson scored at an elite level in college and ran his team's entire offense from the blue line. At this point, everybody knows his tricks. The shimmy moves, the shot fakes, but no one seems to be able to stop them. He pulled them off at the US national team development program and at the college level, and most recently, they even worked in the NHL. In his first few games with the Habs, Hudson also proved he could absorb hits to make plays, defend decently with a combination of stick work and anticipation, and break the puck out. There's risk to his profile, Maybe NHL opponents will adapt to his style of play and learn to abuse his smaller size on the forecheck and around the net, rendering him ineffective. But something tells us that won't be the case. A solid first professional season, and Hudson will silence any remaining doubters. Lane Hudson with a shift up high. Mister in a goal! Lane Hudson! Number four, Joshua Waugh. Waugh is a developmental outlier. Looking at his first two QMJHL seasons, few would have predicted he'd eventually put himself on track for an NHL job, and especially that one of his primary qualities would be his defensive game. It's not that he lacked hockey sense, we got that part in his draft year evaluation wrong at EP. He just didn't play a style game conducive to long-term success, especially at the pro level. But in just a couple of seasons, he turned his development around and became one of the better developing players outside the NHL. It was impressive to watch this past season, especially at the NHL level. He rotated perfectly, anticipated exchanges of possession, and went out of his way to help teammates defensively, plugging holes in the team's formation. His skating could still improve, especially his agility, but if he continues to develop at the same rate, Waugh could become the perfect middle six complementary player. Coming in at number five, goaltender Jacob Fowler. Fowler has established himself as a true top prospect in the Canadian system, but also in the goaltender prospect pipeline throughout the league. He accumulates wins at a rapid rate and posted a very impressive 926 save percentage with Boston College last season. Two years ago, he was dominant in the USHL, playoff MVP for Youngstown. Last season, one of the best college hockey campaigns ever by a young netminder. His positioning is strong, he's powerful, confident in his movements, but also tends to lose his post more than he probably should. Fowler himself has admitted he needs to get in better shape and that could help him move up these rankings even further in the future. But there is definite starter potential here. To read more about these players and the remaining prospects in the Canadian system, head over to EP Rinkside, where the Habs landed third on our organizational pipeline series.